Miami has been a big player this offseason. So with exactly one month until the 2022 NFL draft, where do the Dolphins stack up in the AFC right now? It's interesting right now because I actually think that one of the winners coming off of last night's Academy Awards is Tua Tagovailoa, and I'll tell you why. Oh. Because for the past week, it's been nothing but Tua jokes and Tua memes and Tua can't throw deep and Tua can't do this. I've seen a lot of them. Some of them are really well done. Now, they're not being made anymore because it's all about those two guys last night. But the joke is that uh, you got all these fast guys and you have a quarterback who can't throw more than 15 yards downfield. Let's start with the objective stats. There's the numbers. Check, check, take a look at this. This is the rankings of guys and yards per attempt and quarterbacks. So that's it. Lowest deep attempt rate, meaning you know you throw it downfield 20 yards. Garoppolo is the lowest. Mm -hmm. Two is the second lowest, and that's since 2020. It's fascinating that both those guys either just did or will be running the Mike McDaniel offense. So Jimmy is the worst in the league, or just say lowest. Um, and he's winning playoff games, and he's succeeding, and they did it. Now you take Tua, a guy who's a better athlete who can move around more. The question becomes: Doesn't throw deep, or can't throw deep? Mm. Let's bring up some videotape because I'm starting to come to the other side. Uh oh, you brought uh, that, receipts. That it's not. Here we go. So this is with brought the, the, the Crimson Tide. All we have is a cut up of deep passes. Now, maybe they're playing against Southwest. Who cares? And the guys are 50 yards open. But here is your Miami Dolphins quarterback chucking it downfield in stride. The jokes are there, guys. They're going to keep going. And the first time that Tyreek runs deep and it's a slightly underthrown, it's going to be a put in Bridgewater, put in Bridgewater. I don't know. This looks pretty good, and I'm not just piling on the low-hanging fruit. Even though Dante Hall, I'm, I'm going to describe it as scrunching up his face at this video. Yeah, I'm Dante, looking get at, in here. Not I'm into looking it? at your highlights. Every single one was from the 30 going in. <laughs> That's not really going down. You need field. the opposite 30? I mean, exactly. Okay, so you need the full-on Patrick <laughs> Mahomes experience for this thing to He's work. He's spoiled. He's a Chiefs guy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, wow. Um, but listen, I, I'm not going to say that Tua Tagovailoa can only throw it five yards on field. I think it's it's cheap, easy, and maybe naive. I don't know if he's been asked to. Do we have a whole cut-up of, of Tua? trying to throw deep over the last year and not being able to? Because until we do, I still think that Mike McDaniel is too smart and too experienced to not make this thing work. I'm with you on can he or don't they? That's the question. You had me there, but once you threw the highlights, the receipts... I wasn't buying. You didn't like those receipts. I didn't like those receipts. You're not accept the return. On, no. Buy because I was a big Tua fan as well in, when he was at Alabama. When he mm -hmm. stepped in for Jalen Hurts, I was like, wow. I can see why you've replaced Jalen Hurts. Sir. But I haven't seen that at this particular level, at the NFL level. And those highlights, I'm looking, I'm like, okay, maybe he can convince me otherwise. Do it. You couldn't do it. Well, I'm not saying he's Randall Cunningham, but I'm saying, <laughs> like, I, I also don't think he's, he's going to be five yards and out. I think it's going to work. I do. Okay. What do you say on the Dolphins? So, for me, obviously, everyone wants to talk about Tua and the new shiny tools that he's going to be throwing to, Jalen Waddle and Tyreek Hill. But for me, for the uh, Miami Dolphins to get where they want to get to, it's still going to be about the defense. Um, I remember the St. Louis Rams in 1999, the greatest show on turf. And you know how they won that Super Bowl? Mm, tackle with, at the end. Exactly. With defense. They won it. They won the NFC Championship game. It was a 13 to like 10. Yeah, exactly. 11 6, I think. 11 6. Yeah, I give him too many points. 13. Yeah, exactly. So for me, I understand in the offseason, we're talking about all the shiny new tools. But for me, can that defense remain as potent as it was last year under Brian Flores? And yes, it's, we're going to talk Tyree Hill and mm -hmm. all of that. But mm -hmm. I think it's going to be um, about the defense if Miami wants to get to where they want to go. Yeah, and I spoke to Mike for a while when he first got the job, McDaniel, he saw a target and he said, you know, we're going to try to bring back the defensive coordinator, Josh Boyer, who he had no relationship with. But he's like, the defense is good. I'm not messing with the okay. defense. I thought that was a really interesting move to not be like, I'm bringing in my guys and we're going to, it's like, no, their defense was really good last year. We're going to keep their defensive coordinator and we're going to build around that, which is what they've done. Um, Gosh, they've got a lot of weapons. They do. And I look at this list of just the wide receivers that are currently on the roster, and it's like, all right. The, that, that, like, Cedric Wilson was good last year. Cowboys, he stepped in number one. He was good. You look at Devontae Parker, what he's done. He's already made a huge contract in this league. I would ignore the numbers for Devontae Parker and remember that two years ago, three years ago, he was one of the top ten guys in the league, and now you've got well, And I think it does come down to not only Tua, but comes down to this coach. And, you know, we watch him again. Like, I find it catnip almost, like watching him speak. He's got this weird cadence. It and is he, very soothing. The words, he's using different. the word multitude and fast. And he's talking about building a house, and there's analogies. And when I was at the combine with him, I mean, that's going to be stuff that's going to follow my career forever because of how quirky our interview was and how funny he was. And yet, 
I feel like this guy could be a mad genius when it comes mm. to unlocking things and going through his career. And I've said this before on this show. Now, he wasn't the only coach on the staff because in a lot of cases, Kyle Shanahan mm -hmm. was there and Matt LaFleur was there. But Robert Griffin III comes in as a rookie. They built the offense around him. He wins NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year over Andrew Luck. Uh, they, they go to Atlanta. Matt Ryan has always been a good quarterback. They win an MVP together. And Mike McDaniel's very prominent in, the, in that coaching room. And then Jimmy Garoppolo, who has limitations physically, they still find a way to get the very most out of Jimmy. What he said at the Combine to me was, we believe Tua has untapped potential. Mm -hmm. Untapped potential. And every quarterback, going back to Matt Schaub, going back to Nick Mullins, whoever you want, that Mike McDaniel has worked with, they have unleashed that potential. And they've had their best years of their career with him. So... To your point, I don't know if Tua can throw the ball 50 yards, but I do know mm. we're going to get the best version of Tua I love that. under Mike McDaniel. Can we ask you, Peter, you were away last week. You're, you were, what are they called? Strawberry Fields you were drinking? That's what I was drinking. Okay, <laughs> muddled with strawberry. Good for you. Muddled, yes. We didn't uh, get the pleasure of your Tyreek reaction. What, what's your take on Tyreek's adult? I was shocked. I was shocked. shocked? I was shocked. I, I, did, I, I am actually really fascinated to see how they use him differently than Kansas City because Patrick Mahomes' arm is so lethal uh -huh. and is so big. And so much of what they did was using Tyreek in the deep game. I don't know if Tua can do that stuff. So how else mm. can you use Tyreek underneath and get him involved? I think it's a major loss for the Chiefs. And I'm not sure he's the same player with the Dolphins mm. with Tua and not Mahomes, a quarterback. And that's not a challenge to Tyreek's mm. skills. It's just we're dealing with a very different type of quarterback for his skill set, mm. which is purely speed first mm. and everything else. And a second. different system. Mm -hmm. which is different system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to buy into the Dolphins this year. I want to buy into Tua. Fun. I love this guy so much. He's so well-spoken. You really want to root for him. And I love what you said, Shregs, about Mike McDaniel coming in and him being just the guy that could take him to this next level. We've been talking about the Oscars all day. An actor can be working on movies and movies and movies. Sometimes it just takes one director sure. and they win their Oscar. It's somebody that elevates them. I'm buying in this year. This could be the match made into a heaven. We've been waiting for him to go off, okay? And he's not shown up. He did. We saw earlier he did spectacularly in college, and we've been waiting for that Tua to show up. And he's been under a lot of pressure, and I think this year he's going to be under the most pressure that he has been under. Mm -hmm. Last year it was, are they going to trade him for Deshaun Watson? What's going on there? So this year I think he rises to the occasion, and I think Miami Dolphins are going to be very fun. Is that true? That's I fun. I think so. I'm calling it out right now. In hindsight, the way Tua handled last year. Exactly. We, think about how Baker handled it. He's so mature. Right? And Tua was like, I'm just going to play through the storm mm -hmm. and just do my best. Put my head down. Baker does the Instagram thing, demands a trade. Like, it, it's actually really interesting if you compare it. And that, made, that says a lot about Tua. I think he's he so, literally so well-spoken. I love hearing him when he's talking to the media. He's so respectful. He's so smart. Uh, I love that guy.